Hello friends, in this video, we'll discuss line integration, type 1 closed curve. Hello friends, till now we have discussed Lorentz and Taylor series, it's a part of complex integration. Now we are moving to the next part of complex integration that is line integration. Line integration is a relatively simple part and it is divided into two types, type 1 closed curve, type 2 open curve. Now see here closed curve. So there are a lot of closed curve available but we are talking specifically about circle only. Now friends you need to remember this substitution z is equal to r e raised to i theta. So whenever you get closed curve like circle you need to remember this substitution z is equal to r e raised to i theta where r is the radius. If you take the differentiation dz r is constant e raised to i theta differentiation is e raised to i theta will remain as it is chain rule i theta differentiation is i and d theta so that is mentioned here so z is equal to r e raised to i theta and dz will be r i e raised to i theta d theta and one more thing, this is the note that you need to remember. If direction is not given in the problem, always consider anti-clockwise direction. What is mean by this? That we are going to see in the problem. So let us start with the first problem. Evaluate integration C z bar dz where C is the unit circle mod z is equal to 1. So we have already discussed this mod z is equal to a is circle with radius a. So in this case, c is mod z is equal to 1 means circle with radius 1. So it's quite clear the problem is line integration and clearly mentioned circle that means it is type 1 that is closed curve. So the substitution is fixed. Put z is equal to r e raised to i theta. Now this r stands for radius and in the problem it is clearly mentioned mod z is equal to 1 means circle with radius 1. So we are going to replace r with 1. So z is equal to e raised to i theta. dz is equal to i e raised to i theta and d theta. Let us read a question again to get the limits. So it is asked in the problem where C is the unit circle that means they are talking about the whole circle. So let me draw this circle mod z is equal to 1 and the whole circle means starting from this point and will cover the entire circle. So as I mentioned note if not mentioned always take anti-clockwise direction. So this is your anti-clockwise direction. This is your angle 0, this is pi by 2, this is pi, this is 3 pi by 2 and again coming back to 2 pi. So since it is not mentioned, the entire circle is there, whole circle is there, therefore we're going to take limits from 0 to 2 pi. And one more thing, z bar is mentioned in the problem. So z is e raised to i theta, z bar means 1 upon z that is 1 upon e raised to i theta. So if e raised to i theta will go up, that will become e raised to minus i theta. So let us start integrating. Integration, theta limit from 0 to 2 pi since the entire circle asked. We have z bar and we discuss z bar is equal to e raised to minus i theta. Then we have dz and dz is i e raised to i theta d theta i e raised to i theta d theta now these two terms will be cancelled why because if you multiply two terms this will be added so that will become e raised to minus i theta plus e raised to i theta that is e raised to zero basically and that is one so that means these two terms will be cancelled and you are left with i and since i is a constant that will come out of the integration so you will be left with theta is equal to 0 to 2 pi and d theta so i outside integration of 1 d theta is theta from 0 to 2 pi 
I decide upper limit minus lower limit and the answer is 2 pi i. That's it. Done. Thank you.